أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم يأني للذين آمنوا أن تخشع قلوبهم لذكر الله وما نزل من الحق ولا يكونوا كالذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبل فطال عليهم الأمد فقست قلوبهم وكثير منهم فاسقون. One ayah, this is one verse. What it means roughly, generally, يعني the general meaning, let's say, of the ayah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here أَلَمْ يَأْنِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنْ تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Isn't it time for those who believe those who believe isn't it time already for them that their hearts are actually have khushu' that their hearts have presence with the dhikr of Allah yani the dhikr is not the lip service the heart isn't it time for the heart to experience the dhikr of Allah Al-Quran is questioning but not time for everybody, for those who claim belief and iman. Isn't it time? Alam yakni lilladina amanu. Isn't it time for those who believe that their hearts actually experience the dhikr of Allah? Wama nazala min al haqq. And that which was revealed, which is haqq, tasting. Not talking. Hmm? There's difference between taste and talk. Any? What does that mean? Well, those of you who eat pizzas, for example. I don't know if you eat pizzas here. Where I'm from, we eat pizzas. Cheese pizza raises your blood pressure, increases your sugar level. Among other things. But you know, because we don't want to eat any vegetables anymore. You may know how to make a pizza, or you may know what the ingredients of pizza are. To make pizza, you have to have one, two, three, four, five. Great. You can be an expert in reciting the so many ingredients that make up a pizza. Nobody can top you. But if you haven't tasted pizza, you really can't tell me what pizza tastes like. Knowing it in the mouth is one thing and tasting it is another. Al-Quran al-Kareem and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam before in the authentic hadith. And I don't give you any weak hadith. Not you, not anybody else. I don't usually do that. I am not saying I am perfect. I am far from that. But I try conscientiously not to do that. I don't believe in reliance on weak ahadith. Because we have plenty that are authentic. Why should I prioritize the less over the more strong of a basis? So I'll tell you either sahih or hasan. And if it's da'if, I'll tell you it's da'if. Huh? But also we have... Some people who go to extreme, you know. If I have nothing else, I'll tell you it's da'if. And the ulama said the da'if may be acceptable in the fada'il, in the virtues. And you know, sometimes, unfortunately, we are in a time where people pick up buzzwords. Huh? Today, education became buzzwords huh? you throw a couple of buzzwords you sound they sound fancy sophisticated that's knowledge hmm? buzzwords don't make people knowledgeable anyway i'm saying that because somebody came to me and said sheikh this hadith is daif i said the hadith is not daif but the iman is daif that's the problem the problem is the iman and the heart is da'if. The hadith is not da'if. Yeah. 
but we learn buzzwords and we throw them without any meaning. Anyway, Al Quran Al Karim, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's why questions us or tells us in a way where he says in the authentic narration, Thaqa ta'am al Iman. You will taste the sweetness of Iman. Taste Thaq from Dhuq, right? Dhuq means tasting, literally tasting. Now the question is, have we tasted or we're still we're just doing the lip service? That's the question. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah of Surah Hadid is telling us actually in the form of a question. Isn't it time now for those who believe that they experience the dhikr of Allah instead of just saying it and claiming it and whatever it is with it, isn't it time now? How long do you want to live without actually living, living the dhikr of Allah rather than uttering the dhikr of Allah? Tasting the dhikr of Allah. Tasting the closeness of Allah. Tasting the love of Allah. The sweetness of being loved by Allah. Loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Isn't it time to taste that and experience that? Or you want to live your whole life now just talking and making belief that you are actually on that full iman while your iman is incomplete to say the least. Isn't it time for those who believe to experience the dhikr of Allah and that which is revealed, that is haqq. Why it's haqq? You see what's revealed is haqq. وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ مَا نَزَلْ is haqq. Al-Quran is haqq. Wa-Sunnah is wahi. Haqq. But our talk may not be haqq. That's why our talk must be judged based on the haqq. We are not haqq on our own. We are haqq if we are attached to the haqq. Because Islam does not want to erect idols again out of people or figures or any other books or anything else other than the haqq that was nazal, revealed. Hmm? Anyway. The reason I'm saying that is not that because people are bad. No, no, people are good. But you see, people are not as compassionate as the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. People are not as merciful as the Creator. People are not as forgiving as the Creator. People are not as loving as the Creator. I'm not saying that in a comparison way. There is no comparison in any way between the creator and the creation. But let me take the, that out and talk about the creation. People are not as merciful as the best of the, crea the creation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People are not as forgiving and loving as Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People are not as, as accepting and as, and as uh, willing to help as Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People are not as, as, in, as inclusive as Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi Nowadays, people want to have keys to Jannah, so they only let their own group go to Jannah. The others, they lock them out in Jahannam. Versus, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam was sent as Rahmah Lil Alameen to the universe. That's why I say, Ma nazala min al haqq. That's what Allah says. Manazala min al haqq, that which is revealed, the book and the sunnah, because the sunnah is wahi as well. It's comforting. It's comforting to the soul because it comes from Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. And the sunnah comes from the Rasul, who is Rauf and Rahim. أَلَمْ يَأْنِي لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنْ تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ Then Allah says وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِ Isn't it time for those who believe that they experience the dhikr of their hearts, their قلوب, their hearts experience the dhikr of Allah, observation of Allah and that which was revealed and so they don't become like those nations before them who have received the scriptures and the books before. 
فَطَالَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَمَدْ But after a while, after they received those nations, after they received the book, after a while, after a long time came, فَطَالَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَمَدْ فَقَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts became rigid, became closed, became uh, 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 stubborn, became uh, 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 totally uh, 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 in, inapproachable. فَقَسَتْ قَسْوَةُ الْقَلْبِ Hard, a, ro- a heart as solid or as rock, as rocky as a rock. فَقَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَكَثِيرٌ مِّنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ Al-Quran wants to warn us, do not become, so you don't become like the nations before you who received books from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But after a certain time that elapsed, their hearts became hard again. وَكَثِيرٌ مِّنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ And therefore, many of them deviated.